tell me about the piece of music itself and um, mm -hmm. what instruments are involved and who's playing? And right, well, um, it started off as a slow jig mm -hmm. from the Celtic tradition and I had in mind um, flute because it was written for a friend of mine and uh, so Marek, who is your partner and runs yes. the Bath Folk Festival. Um, I had him in mind to play that part mm. as a kind of solo instrument and he plays silver flute which yes. is a really beautiful sound and it's part of an orchestral suite. It's now become not exactly a complete orchestral suite but I'm using a set, I'm using um, six banks of strings, bassoon, a whole brass section Wonderful. and but it's the idea of marrying folk music with uh, a slightly more classical or formal, classical is the wrong word, but a more formal tradition. Mm. And, uh, and also I've been doing some workshops up in the northeast yes. and I met a guy um, called Trevor who is from a brass band yeah. background and he's desperate to get more brass band type players into folk music and we had this whole conversation where I said you know folk music never used to be in sharp mm. keys particularly there used to be a lot of brass band music in English music particularly. Particular brass monkey. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. and that's based on what used to happen. Mm. And I'm not sure, but I suspect it was the the, the diatonic melodion that kind of killed that because they yeah, can only yeah. play in G or D or D and A oh, or whatever. Right. But um, yeah. if parts were play, played in more flat keys, it might encourage more brass band people. So we do get a lot of jazzers in folk music, but we don't get many kind of the brass band sound. And that brass band sound, whether you think of it as the mm. Brig House and Rastrick Boys or the brass stuff thing, it's very emotive. Yes. It's very, yeah, yeah, very emotive yeah. music, you know. So that's why there's a brass section in it. Oh, fabulous. So it's going to be a kind of orchestral suite that I've got a friend who's a lyricist who wants to put words to it. It seems like, although it's called the bigger bath, it's also bigger music from folk as yeah. well. It's kind of mirroring yeah. that completely. It's that's wonderful. Right. And, that, and we're now talking to the Big Issue Foundation with the idea that we can talk to their vendors in Bath, in, mm -hmm. in the Bath area, and there will be musicians. Mm. And if there's musicians within the vendors who would like to come and be part of the performance, right. then we're going to try and find instruments to beg, borrow or steal for them yeah. to play in the piece. Wonderful. So, And also, um, I'm very keen to have the piece performed by local people of any mm. age group, any Wonderful. age group, school kids, grannies. I don't mind. If, you, yeah, if yeah. you've got an instrument and you've got a voice and you want to be part of this, marvellous mm. and we'll Excellent. do it, you know.